I will give them freedom. It's just going to be on my say, when I say, on my time. So he works for me. He heals. He does all of his commands. I'll give him some free time. So it's a little bit of a trade-off. And he's learning it. So he's, he's getting the, the picture here. That, uh, and that takes anxiety down. Whoops. That takes anxiety down with a dog who's very anxious. If they know, they're going to be taken care of. So, he's had his free time. Got a long line in our hands. And this is pretty much how I'll practice this. Heel. Okay. Believe it or not, this dog who, who you know, was very, very crazy at drop-off, he actually enjoys working. He just didn't know it. <laughs> he enjoys it, and he enjoys the predictability of it. So we walk for a while, and I'll, if he gets a head length ahead like that, like that, that's where I tap on the e-collar. Stay by my side, can't be going out ahead of me. So I watch, the, I watch for that, those eyes to be past my leg, and then I click. I'm doing that on purpose so you guys can see. That's how we keep them in, in heel. And then what I'll do after walking for a while is I'll stop and do a stay, sit, maybe a down down and then I will walk around testing his you know just really pushing it letting him know stay in that calm relaxed state and then because he's still working and then I'll give him a little free time break and he'll go and do his thing he can't go too far if he gets to the end of this hopefully he slows down which he is because I'm teaching all the dogs if they get to the end of this I'll just click on the e-collar, right? I don't want them pulling on, on any leash, a long line or a short walking leash. He loves his free time. So he takes his free time, he takes a pee, keeping out people's wants. Um, you know, we can move and do this too. You know, let him have his free time. Uh, he's already assuming that if I'm walking, he's got to be in heel though because I've been holding still with his free time. But you can walk, and then what I do, break. And then what I do is either say, come or use the beat. And I like using the beats right now for some reason. Good boy. Wrong person. Come. Heel. Good boy. That's my boy. And then we do this some more. So we just keep it working play separate. That's the key. Abrupt stop. Good. Auto sits, very nice. Ignoring the passerby. Very nice. Very good. And then you know, I, I give him another another break here. Break. So it's just like a lot of people talk about that on and off switch. And when you're working, when we're using any of the commands, they need to be in that calm state of mind. Relaxed, listening to what we have to say, not whining, not trying to get out of the command, just accepting it, knowing that eventually they will get their free time. Come! That's a good boy. Sit. That's good. Down. Good. And then sometimes we'll just let them sit for a little while. Now he's in work mode again. Okay, so he's getting used to the, going, the, the ebb and flow of this. And, and honestly, I really feel like it's helped his mind relax, you know. Otherwise, he's just going to be in that go, 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 kind of stay. And that's kind of stressful to live like that. So I feel like he's becoming happier with this new way of living, having somebody lead him and be fair to him. Yes, we're firm. Yes, we expect a lot out of them, but we also give them a lot of uh, opportunities to have freedom that they wouldn't have otherwise. You want to be able to go off leash, would you? Good boy. So that's the trade, and I think he's finally, he's to that point where he's accepting. He's like, okay, this is a good deal. I'll take it. Break. That's my boy. Just the end of the All right, now I'll head back.
back towards you. Just a beep on the collar. Good boy. Here. All right. Good boy. So this is very much how you can practice this at home. Heel, keep it up. Tightening it. Made it through the gauntlet. <laughs> Good job. Break. <laughs> <laughs>